there are many ways to create new objects in JavaScript. In this video, we'll use the Fluent Interface pattern. In the Fluent Interface pattern, we use classes with defined methods to add attributes to our object. In this example, we are going to create a person class. And it will have a constructor. And the constructor will simply set the person field on this instance to an empty object. We can then create a with name method that will take a name as an input. And we will set this.person.name equal to the name. And importantly, we will return the current instance of person. We can then say with age and provide an age and this.person.age equals age. Again, return the current instance of the person object. Finally, we might add a build method and that won't take any arguments. It's simply going to return this.person. So the implementation of this person class and how we can build a person object would be something like const person equals we want a new instance of our person object. Then we're going to want to say with name and we can give our person a name. Let's say daffodil. It's a nice unique name. Then we can also say our person has an age. Uh, daffodil is 25. And finally, we can build our person object and our auto formatter decided to put it on the same line, which is cool. Uh, and so then I can log our person. And if I run this in our console, yep, we see that we now have a person whose name is Daffodil and whose age is 25. You might be asking why to build objects this way. Well, the fluent interface pattern can definitely be a little verbose, but one nice thing is that it makes it pretty hard to set an incorrect property on your object. You can only set object props by using the methods on your class. Uh, this can be especially handy if your object has lots of properties or if you need a handy way to generate a bunch of different objects for a specification. Uh, for example, I like to use this a decent amount for test case generation.